This video is a KuCoin trading bots guide. We're gonna go through all of the individual bots on KuCoin, what they are actually designed to do, and then the outcome of them so you can decide if they're right for you. We'll look at the website and also just the trading bot platform on the phone right here as well. I'll leave timestamps for everything down in the description. We'll look at the dollar cost averaging bot first. Uh, what we need to do is obviously have a KuCoin account. If you don't have one yet, I'll leave a link in the description. There may be deposit and sign up bonuses if you're new, so you can check the details by that link. In any case, if you do have an account yet, uh, what we can do here is go and transfer some assets from our main account into our uh, trading account. Now, if you don't know how to use KuCoin, if you're a beginner, I'll leave a beginner's guide tutorial video down in the description as well. First thing though, you want to transfer some assets from your main account, so just press transfer and then transfer it into trading. Here, you can transfer any amount. This is an internal transfer, so it's completely free, instant as well. So I'll just confirm that, and you can see I've got some assets in my trading account right here, and that's what you need in order to use all of these bots. Dollar cost averaging is one of the most popular strategies long-term investors will use. You just simply buy a set amount of cryptocurrency at set intervals, and it just automates that long-term investment process for you. So we'll have a look at uh, doing that on the phone. So we can come down to the bottom, dollar cost average right here. Uh, and then we just press next. Up in the top, you can see BTC USDT. So this is the asset that you're trading. Uh, so you can choose all of these, as you can see, you can just search for them right here. Now you do need US dollar tether uh, to actually go ahead and dollar cost average. So you'll need to get some assets on, switch it into USDT. USDT is the US dollar stable coin that you'll be using to sell in order to buy the crypto that you want to invest in. Uh, so what we'll do here is invest every week press confirm, and then the amount per investment, let's say $50 a week, press OK. Now you can see my available balance here is 100. So that's only gonna last me two weeks. And then when you don't have any assets there, it obviously can't dollar cost average for you. If you see advanced settings down here as well, maxi investment, you can choose that if you just wanna limit it to a certain amount. The profit target here, if I press this, it will actually send you a note or just a, an alert once a profit target is reached. So if you've been dollar cost averaging and you've been buying maybe through a bear market, getting lower prices, kind of bringing your average price down, um, it will say, once you've reached a 10 or 15% profit, you can choose. It will just send you an alert to say, hey, you told me to alert you here, maybe you wanna sell or whatever. You can actually see once the target is reached down at the bottom, notify and sell all positions. So you can dollar cost average and then say, when I reach a 30% target profit, if that happens, then automatically sell out for me. So that's up to the individual investor if you wanna do that. Uh, it's a good option to have if you do want to do that, or if not, you can just leave it blank uh, and then it will just notify you. But you know, won't actually go ahead and sell anything. Date of first investment, you can say now or you can, you know, uh, schedule it for the weekend or something like that. Uh, so you press confirm there and press create and that will just go through and automate your investment over the parameters that you've set. The next type of bot that KuCoin offers is the grid bot. This is one of the most popular bots, uh, not just on KuCoin, but on other platforms as well and around crypto. And essentially what this does is uh, puts in lots of buy and sell orders at regular intervals, uh, trying to essentially buy and sell and create grids, which is the profit between the buy and the sell, and then trying to eke out profits and trading profits from the volatility in crypto. Now, there's a lot of things to consider here, so I'll go through them quickly. But on KuCoin, what you can see is you have a spot grid and you have a futures grid. Now, a spot grid, that is the spot market. So there's no leverage here. You just put an amount of dollars in and that's what you buy and sell uh, and that's it. Now with futures, essentially you're trading derivatives of crypto. Now futures let you leverage. So basically if you want to use leverage and you want to speculate more, uh, then you can use a futures grid. It also allows you to go long and short, which means long is uh, essentially betting on the price going up and then short is actually when you sell first and buy back lower later. So derivatives and futures just let you do uh, a lot more on the trading side of things. This is definitely more for short term. Uh, using futures typically is more short term for trading, uh, although you can have a grid bot open for a fairly long time, right? Six months to a year, if it's in profits for you, you can do that. But of course, if you're using leverage, it can get quite expensive because you have to pay for leverage. Um, and then obviously the more volatility there is in a longer time, if it's going against you, it can obviously lead to much larger losses. With spot, it's simply what you're putting in there 
and there's no leverage. Uh, so that's the difference between them, although they are basically the same um, you know, uh, algorithm underneath the surface. So what we're gonna do is go through Spot Grid right here and press Create. So how does Spot Grid actually work? It's exactly like this. So this is from a different platform. I think this is Pionex where, where I got this from, uh, which I actually have some grid bots running at the moment for other videos. Uh, so what you can see here is you choose an upper price and a lower price bound, and that's where the grid bot trades in between. And between that, it just simply puts buys and sell orders continually up and down, up and down all of the time and refreshes them all of the time in order to make, let's say 1% profit per grid. So each time the price moves up and down 1%, you're essentially just taking that small profit from a, a part of the portfolio and locking it into profits. Uh, so that's how it looks with an upper and lower bound. So what happens here is, um, you have all of these buy orders that are set in at these different prices. And uh, you obviously have sell orders right here. So what happens is the price moves down to here and then it moves up, you create one buy and a sell and you create that grid profit. Now when the price moves back down again, the grid actually refreshes itself in order to buy here. And so you, you just keep trading, right? So it's almost like a market maker bot. It's just continually buying and selling all of the time. So you buy that and if the price moves down, uh, sorry, that's a different color. If we, if we, if the price moves down here, then you buy here as well. And if the price moves down here, then you buy here as well. Now, as the price moves back up to this level, you obviously uh, sell right here. So that's this grid right here that you've uh, made a profit in. And if the price moves up again to that second level, then you sell again, and that's that grid. So obviously, you just buy and sell continually, continually refreshing the orders between buys and sales and over and over again. Uh, so we'll go through how to actually implement that right now. There's two ways to do this on KuCoin. You can let the bot do it itself, or you can choose the parameters. So you can see auto and customize. It actually uh, goes on auto automatically. I would suggest probably just letting the bot do it um, because it probably knows all, of all the different strategies that are happening, which ones are working the best. And also each individual crypto is actually different in terms of how its price uh, reacts. So some cryptos are more volatile than others, of course. And so uh, you want to take advantage in the best way of these price movements. So probably letting the bot do that uh, with the data is it, that it has is probably a better option. So for Bitcoin, we have the price range here between 19,200 and 35,700 ish. Uh, you can see the number of placed orders would be 100 between those and the profit per grid with fees deducted is around 0.3 to 0.69%. Um, so what we can see here is we need to put some money uh, over. So we're gonna just transfer in some balance from the main account. We're gonna transfer all of that there and press confirm. And then we have enough assets uh, to go ahead and trade. Now what you'll see here also, and I think it's important to highlight, is the price range between 19,200 and 35,700. So you have an amount of capital that you can put into this bot and the bot is going to have to reserve a lot of capital for all of the price ranges. So if the price gets down to this level and up to this level, it has to have dollars there in order to make these trades. And so if you think about that, what it means is the larger the price range between top and bottom, the more spread out your money is. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing, However, it depends what your goals are in the trade. So if you want to trade for a very long period of time, you have to expect more volatility in the price. If you want to trade for a very short period of time, then you wanna make that price range a lot narrower so you can put more of the capital into the trades that you're uh, going to go through, right? Because this profit per grid is only one side of it. The actual amount of dollars per grid is also important. So um, this is really just uh, an auto, uh, feature where it says this is what most people are doing uh, for most traders and the time uh, horizon that they're on which is probably the next six to 12 months that's the price that we're looking at on other grids though if you're looking you know you you can say well i think during a bear market the price is going to get to this level and that level and that's what you want to trade uh, it may also um, be good to know that a spot grid is usually long biased, meaning that you're gonna get much better results if the price that you're trading is growing up over time. Now, obviously, 
a grid bot trying to take uh, profits out of a price range, you want it within that price range pretty much forever. That's going to be the best, uh, you know, grid bot performance. If it just comes in this price and basically bounces up and down the whole time, that's obviously great news for the bot. Uh, so it's not like something you can just set and that's your investment portfolio. Um, but if you are looking to kind of actively trade a little bit more and take some profits out between a price range, you think it's going to sit in that for maybe a couple of years. Uh, that's where I think the grid bots really do their work. So you can customize this if you want. I'm just going to go to auto right here though. And it's got that, the auto features there. And then you can choose an amount that you put in and press create. I have an example of a running grid bot, as you can see here. This isn't on KuCoin, it's on Pionex, but I'm just running this for the sake of the channel so that everyone can see how it works. Uh, this has been going for about a year. On the left, you can see all of the buy orders and on the right, the sell orders, and it just automatically trades them in and out the whole entire time. Uh, and the overview right here, it's traded 1,676 times over that time, and it's printed grid profits of around 3%. Um, so this is during a bear market. You can see the bot is actually down overall, um, but I did another video here just to show you the difference uh, between the grid bot and if I had just bought and hold the same amount of Bitcoin and I had an Ethereum bot running as well, the grid bots actually did outperform as you can see here. That outperformed a buy and hold strategy. So if I put the same amount of money in when I started the, bit, the uh, trading bot in a lump sum, these have obviously gone down in price because the bear market came but they outperformed buying that lump sum. Uh, and obviously these are gonna be running for many years and they have been eking out grid profits. Uh, so as you can see here, if you are using a spot grid, the long grid bot is going to suffer during a bear market. And if prices come down, it's not a panacea and it can't work miracles. However, it has outperformed just buying a lump sum there. So I think this is good if you just have a part of your portfolio that you want to trade between set uh, prices and you think it's gonna be volatile within a set price range or a consolidation, you can try and eke some profits out. Futures bots are exactly the same in the way they work under the hood with the two additions, like I said, which is leverage and also long and short. So with leverage here, it defaults to 2X, you can customize this press leverage here, you can go all the way up to 10x leverage if you want. With leverage, the assets that you put into the futures grid bot are simply there to fund any losses that you have. So very different to the spot market. So what we can see here is long and short does not change the price. It's just the bias of the bot initially, where it's either buying first to sell or selling first to buy. Um, so what we can see is just put an amount in. And then down here, is uh, what is important is the stop price. So the stop price, when you're using leverage, if you're going long, uh, you're obviously buying some of the asset. Now, if the asset keeps falling in price, uh, then you're gonna be in a loss. And when using leverage, you know it may obviously snowball and wipe out your account. So what a stop loss does is just put a, a price in here where you actually sell out at a loss to prevent further losses if the position keeps moving against you. So you could say that the stop price is 22,000. And as you can see, if you're getting in around this, uh, 22,000 is below the grid. It has to be obviously outside of the grid. Otherwise you're telling the bot to buy and sell and also completely sell you out at the same time. So that wouldn't work. So it would have to be outside of the grid range, uh, an amount of, of uh, in percent terms where you're gonna take a loss because you, know, you don't want a, a bigger loss snowballing. So that could be a stop price and a take profit would obviously be outside of the grid to the upside if you're going long as well. You can actually put an entry price in here if you want, or you can just create the long and it will just start entering at the price as it is when you press the bot. So customize those features or not, uh, but you can use leverage and long and short there. That's the difference with the futures grid bot versus the spot grid. KuCoin also provides smart rebalance bots, which is where you can buy a, a number of cryptos with a set percentage each. So smart rebalance here, if we create this, you can see these are just uh, sample smart rebalance bots and you can gain exposure to uh, a, a certain sector of the crypto economy or the whole thing, or just create a market index with all of the cryptos, um, as you can see here. So these are just examples. So we'll go to DeFi leaders right here. So create now. And there are only four assets right here. So let's go to add coins and then you can search anything you want. So let's, um, you know, let's put Cardano Ada in here uh, and let's put another one, for example, Anchor or something like that. Press confirm and then they get added in. Uh, so what you can do is then say, actually, I don't want link or I don't want something else. And you can just exit out. So um, these are just examples, obviously. 
but you can create anything that you want. So you can go to CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap and then just see how much of the market does each individual crypto make up and then basically just make up your own crypto market index of the top 20 coins or whatever. Um, so that's an easy way to very quickly get an amount of those and then you can just set the amount that you want to buy and it's going to buy the percentage right here. Now, the smart rebalance portion is that what happens is the rebalance um, occurs so that if one of these goes up in value and becomes more than, for example, 26%, it's going to start selling that in order to keep AVAX at 26% and the others at these percents. Now, that's something that I would say probably isn't the best thing. Usually with investing, uh, the the kind of uh, consensus would be to run winners, right? So things that are outperforming usually outperform for a reason. Um, and so you wouldn't want to sell those in order to buy things that are underperforming. However, it really depends on how you're trading things, right? So there may be examples where you want this to be Bitcoin and this to be Ethereum and just trade those because you believe that the ratio between Bitcoin and ETH is going to go a certain way. And so if Bitcoin does outperform, you actually want to sell that to buy ETH because you think ETH is going to outperform a little bit over the certain time frame that you're investing in. Uh, so that would be somewhere to smart rebalance and just kind of let the, the bot do it for you, which is actually a kind of a, a really great use case in terms of smart rebalancing for a portfolio. You know, usually with portfolio theory, you would actually just let uh, you know winners run and not reinvest in things that are underperforming those. And so that may be up to you uh, if you want to do that or not, um, rather than you know trying to buy things that are underperforming. But it's it's up to the individual investor. You can see stop loss here uh, and take profit if you want to do that. You can configure configure that so a stop loss of 15%. So if one of them, um, you know, loss reaches 15%, it will start to sell you out of them. Um, and as we can see here, the auto rebalance, I think is really important as well. I would really, really suggest like not rebalancing too often because you're just going to be eating through trading fees and um, it's going to be trading way too often, right? Things move like, especially in crypto by like 10, 20, 30% naturally anyway. Uh, so rebalance coin by ratio, maybe put this up a bit and then the rebalance by time. Uh, again, if you're just trading two coins very, very short term, then you may want to reduce this a little bit. Um, but if you're trying to have a portfolio for longer term investing, you'd really want to push this way out to the longest uh, amount. So for me, this might be better for shorter term trading. If you want to set up a portfolio, I think just go and manually do it in um, the portfolio that you have anyway. And then see, you know, see where the assets ride. Because if you're a long-term investor, you want to see what the assets do rather than actively trading out of winners to, to buy back the losers. But it is an option with Smart Rebalance and it does have some use cases. A new trading bot on KuCoin right now though is called Martingale. Martingale strategy is definitely for shorter term trading. A lot of FX traders uh, like this strategy. So if you click Martingale, what Martingale does is put an amount of uh, uh, assets into a trade and then each each time the trade actually moves against you so the the let's say you're going long the price moves down it will double up the amount that you put in uh, at certain prices so you buy hundred dollars and then two hundred dollars and three hundred dollars four hundred dollars each time the price moves down and then obviously you are making larger bets over time as the price moves down to get your average price down and then if the price moves up it will auto sell you at a certain percentage profit I don't believe this is investing at all. So uh, if you're an investor and you just want to dollar cost average or just buy and hold some things, this really isn't for you. I think this is a very short term trading strategy. You can change that percentage drop. The max position increases is seven. So seven times if it drops 1%, you just keep putting uh, money into the trade. And then as you can see the take profit percentage on your average price, you can move that around as well and then put the total investment in. Like I said, this is not something that investors, investors would use at all. Definitely for shorter term trading and speculation, um, but it is obviously a bot that you can use if you want to do that. Maybe you see some altcoins that are extremely volatile and you want to try and trade them. Um, that would be something that you could try and implement. If you want to see how my active trading bots are doing, you can come and ask me in the private Discord groups as part of the Crypto Investor course, which I'll link down in the description. KuCoin link down there as well if you want to go ahead and use it. I'm James, it's Money ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.